Oh, hi! This week, because I'm very good at being on trend and staying up to date with the summer fashions, even though today is definitely October 1st, I'm going to show you how to do that look I've been seeing a lot all over the grams, such as this situation here, which is 85 fucking dollars. That is an 8 and a 5 before the decimal point, and I cannot and will not stand for it. They're calling it a choker tee. All that I am seeing is that it's a regular ass t-shirt with a crew neck, I think is what this is called. Just standard t-shirt collar. With this part cut out, that one doesn't even look like they hemmed the edges. So to save you dozens and dozens of dollars, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Because this will maybe be the easiest t-shirt upcycle I've ever done. Here's what you need. The main thing you're gonna need is a t-shirt with that regular ass collar. There are two reasons I'm going with cutting up this shirt. One is there are two very conveniently placed lines right here that I'm going to follow for my cutout. So yes, I'll be cutting into the design, but I think it's gonna look really cool because of that. And also because even when I used to wear this shirt, I was never really into the doors. Their songs gave me a lot of nightmares when I was a child. I would like to thank this shirt for all of its service though, because I bought it in Kentucky when I was a very awkward preteen and you know it's black fabric really hit a lot of my nervous sweat stains. You're also going to need some type of marking tool. Optional I guess you can eyeball this. And some sharp scissors. Because the shirt is going to be cut into a point you want to make sure that you have like very nice tips on your scissors. One flaw I'm realizing in my gray plan is that the lines where the O's are, by the way, turn your shirt inside out in case you didn't notice that's what's happening here. If I go along those, this is definitely going to be off kilter. And I know that I showed you a pencil as my marking tool before, but I am going for chalk. Start my line somewhere in this vicinity. I guess go right to the corner. I'm going to find the midpoint of the shirt, which is kind of where the bottom of that second O is. So I guess we can still use one of the lines. I'm going to make another mark over on this side. And I'm just going to attach these with a ruler. That was easy enough to draw. I'm going to start my cut right in this corner. Ta -da! Now, there are two ways to go about detaching this little flap that's left here underneath the collar because you want to keep this part intact but not this part. Quick and easy no sew way which I wish is what I was doing. Just take your sharp scissors and cut as close to this seam as humanly possible without cutting into this like ribbed fabric. But because I know it's going to look a lot better I'm going to take my seam ripper and just from shoulder seam to shoulder seam along the front of the collar, I'm gonna unpick all of these stitches. But that also means re-stitching the two edges of the rib knitting back together afterwards. If none of this is making sense, I'm gonna start picking this apart and then I'll show you like halfway through what I'm getting at. Is this making any more sense to you guys? I'm just taking all of these stitches apart that are attaching this, but making sure this clean edge still stays here. Okie doke, here's the piece. And it looks a little bit like Bellatrix Lestrange's hair. So you could leave it like this. It does look a little bit tatty on the edges. And doing that would keep it no so. If you do feel like doing the littlest bit of stitching, I'm gonna take this edge here, and you can see by the discoloration on the shirt where the front of the t-shirt was attached. So I'm gonna fold over that like quarter of an inch on both sides, kind of in on itself. Sandwich that together. It's gonna use craft clips, but you know, pins, whatever. I really did a bad job listing these materials as I was going because I didn't know what tactic I was going to use to make this shirt. Plus, as I have shown you, varying levels of difficulty to doing this. All right, so I got a ton of clips going on and I'm going to do just the littlest zigzag stitch along the edge of this. So it's going to keep it stretchy, but I don't want like anything super wide. I want it to be as discreet as possible. We done did the damn thing. One last note, if you do decide to stitch this, just do not stretch it when you're going or it's going to make that like lettucey edge. So I just kept this as flat as possible. I get this shirt trend. I like this a lot. I've liked the look of them before. It was just mind boggling how expensive these are in shops. It takes like five minutes. If you'd like to stick around for the Halloween madness that's going to be ensuing around here, you can go ahead and subscribe over here. You can go ahead and check out my Patreon somewhere in this corner. I'll put a video somewhere here of a t-shirt product that I was really, really proud of as far as inventive necklines, and I have never seen anybody else do it. So fuck yeah for the one original idea I ever came up with. Well, this isn't quite the look. Ugh. Why am I speaking like this? Who am I?